Chris, what is our first main topic today? This comes from Galactic Champ. Hey, everyone. Deadline has reported that Will Smith is said to potentially star in the film Brilliance and to be directed by Charmaine Obadiah Chinoy. Sorry if I butchered that name, you guys. The film's main plot is based around the 1% population of Earth who are referred to as brilliance and have managed to develop special abilities, and now it's up to a gifted federal agent to stop a man intent on starting a civil war. On a serious note, I'm happy to see Will Smith returning to the big screen and seeing it is um, it is in an X-Men film. I'm sorry. I mean, a brilliance film is nice. So, John, what uh, do you think of this? Thanks to bring on the film. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in Galactic Champ. All right. Of course, everybody still talks about and is thinking about uh, the slap that happened at the Oscars. Um, actually, just recently, Chris Rock made some pretty strong statements, uh, as did uh, Chappelle uh, made some pretty strong statements as well. Uh, I and mean, it sounds like now he, some people might say, well, he's got that other movie, Emancipation. Yeah, yeah. But that was made before all that. This is this is his first movie that he has signed up for that he's going to be making since the slap. Okay, so when were the Oscars? Were they in April or March? I can't remember. I think March. Maybe, let, let's for argument's sake say March. April, May, June, July, August, September. It's been six months, all right? I think while people like Chris Rock and the Oscars are totally legitimately uh, acceptable and understandable, that they would still, of course, be very upset about because I mean, they were the ones that it, this directly affected. I think at this point, it's time for the rest of us to move on. I mean, it happened. He was publicly humiliated for it, and he deserved to be. He has suffered financially because of it, and he deserved to be. It was all his fault. But there, well, how much more do we want? How much more does do we as the fan and the audience want? He, he suffered some humiliation. He suffered financially for it. He made public apologies. It's been six months since it happened. And of course... Like somebody like Chris Rock totally still has a right to be upset by it. He has he has the total right to be upset by it for the rest of his life, as does the Academy, because you know he ruined their show. But I think for the rest of us, when it comes to, to Will Smith, he's like, you know what? It's it, it's time to put it behind. It's time to move past that. And it's time for Will Smith to do what Will Smith does: make fun films, make exciting films, make memorable films. Not all of them are all that good, but a lot of them are. And along comes this X-Men film, sorry, brilliance film, um, that really does sound an awful hell of a lot like an X-Men film. <laughs> it sounds exactly like an X-Men film. Anyway, this comes from the folks over at IndieWire who wrote the following. Uh, directed by four-time Emmy winner, winner and Oscar winner, by the way, uh, Obey Chinoy, who most recently helmed episodes four and five of the Disney Plus series, Ms. Marvel, the story centers on Nick Cooper, a federal agent who works for the Department of Analysis and Response and is tasked with tracking down the 1% of non-neurotypical people deemed abnorms or brilliance who are born with special powers, also known as mutants. The character Nick is a parent of a brilliant daughter and is also abnorm himself. In a Blade Runner-esque twist, he has the ability to see the future and ultimately tries to stop a civil war. So this is a X-Men film about mutants in the world that's just called something else. You know what? Fine, I don't care. This sounds fun. It sounds the exact kind of movie that Will Smith should go in and do right now. You've got an Oscar and Emmy-winning director on board for it. So is this going to win Oscars? Probably not. But does this sound like a fun idea? And is Will Smith the right kind of match for something like this? I say hell yes. So I'm all down for it. Anyway, Chris, you hear about brilliance. What do you think? I mean, it does sound like Kirkland X-Men. <laughs> Kirkland X-Men. It, it feels like something I can go get at Sam's Club. I love that. Um, but hey, I mean, Kirkland power to them. I was going to say, no, now I got what you mean. Okay. <laughs> I was about to correct you. Isn't that Robert? No, no, it's yeah. Kirkman. or it's no, 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 no. Um, And I mean, good good for them. Uh, you know, I've said this before when we've talked about the Will Smith stuff. Uh, I'm glad you like that. Uh, we've seen a lot of other actors do far worse and still get to be in films and not get canceled. I mean, there there's an actor who I was floored when I saw them in a film because they had publicly choked a woman, threw them on a table, went to rehab afterwards and all kinds of stuff. But it was just 
well, this person's in a movie and no one's talking about this. But because we all saw that slap, right? We we don't always talk about the news that happens at, you know, a film festival where these kinds of events occur. Because it was televised, we all talked about the slap. Was it wrong? Absolutely. Was it assault? Yes. Do I think that Will Smith gets to try to revitalize his career? 100%. And if people want to come see this, go see it. I do think that it's interesting how many different kind of leeways we make for certain people. Um, I really like Will Smith. And I think what happened was really unfortunate and really, really distasteful on everyone's ends who were involved in that. And I don't think any of that should have happened in public, but I don't think it should be something that ruin somebody's career it shouldn't be a death sentence yeah right and we've we talked about that from day one that should not be a death sentence on his career and like listen and while i'm saying it's perfectly acceptable for chris rock or the oscars to continue to be mad it's perfectly Absolutely. acceptable for anybody who thinks look that was just strictly on behavior i can't be a will smith fan anymore okay i respect that too i'm just explaining from my point of view which i'm not saying needs to be yours i'm simply saying from my point of view there what he did was wrong there needed to be consequences and when i look at the situation smith is in i see he paid a lot of consequences. Yeah. He did for, for to be proportional to what the offense was. And I think it's now time for him to be able to move forward. Anyway, Rob, you're hearing about brilliance. What do you think about it? What do you think about the sound of the movie, about Will, Will Smith doing it? All that kind of stuff. Well, first of all, I have to echo my esteemed colleagues' points of view. I not, not surprisingly agree with both of you. I mean, I'm a big Will Smith fan, have been for a long time. Um, you know, he's had a long and illustrious career working in film. I think that um, I just, I love him as a performer and I love him when he does genre films too, whether it's Independence Day, whether it's I Am Legend, even uh, to a certain extent, Tony Scott's Enemy of the State. You know, I, I like that movie. I love that movie. And I, I really like him in those films. And I, he's producing this movie and look, like you both pointed out, he's, he's, he's served consequences and you know what? He still has that star power and more importantly, he's getting a movie made. You have an interesting new director how many people are they going to employ on this film? Um, it could be good for the studio. So all around, I mean, is he ever going to be absolved of what he did? No. Oh, no, no, one, no. That's, it's, it, this is going to be with him for the rest for of the his life. For the rest of his life, life. yeah. And, and, but the thing is, it shouldn't be a death sentence. You know, pursuit of happiness or whatever. Is this seven pounds or whatever? He's I think that's pursuit of happiness. Uh, it, it's, it's, he's, he deserves to make more movies. And I, frankly, I want to. I deserve to see them. <laughs> and I deserve, well, I deserve to, see them. to see them. So, also, Questlove can stay mad too. I want to throw that out there. Questlove can stay mad about this situation. Yep. Yes. <laughs> um, but also, he's got. It's going to be interesting to see if Apple does decide to put out Emancipation in time for Oscar consideration. I, I would actually think they would want to give the Oscars themselves some more time to cool down than try to put up a film on the very next Oscar ceremony for consideration. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about the sound of Will Smith's new X-Men movie called Brilliance? And it's not really an X-Men movie, but it sort of is. Wink, wink. Anyway, what do you guys think? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. You guys know we have been sponsored by Masterclass and we love them here at the John Campia Show for giving us in-depth information on a wide variety of topics from the world's best experts. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn the art of filmmaking from James Cameron, improve your cooking skills from Gordon Ramsay, or learn how to make compelling YouTube videos from Marquise Brownlee. With over 150 classes from a range of world class instructors, that thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you think. I was recently watching through the independent filmmaking course by Spike Lee, and I found it fascinating that not only did he cover the broader topics like working with actors, but he also gets into finer details like working with a cinematographer and how to properly audition a DP for your project. It was fascinating. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class, and as a John Campia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to Matt masterclass.com slash campia now that's masterclass.com slash campia for 15 percent off masterclass